Hey, this is Broser. Today I'm gonna actually do my first unboxing video. Uh, it's gonna be a little different for me, as normally I stream, but I'm trying to do an unboxing video. I was searching for arcade sticks for Sega Genesis, and you know, there's obviously the officially licensed one, but I wanted to get the most abstract one <laughs> that I could find, and here it is. Arcade Command, tabletop controller for all Sega Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> what name so this is docs arcade command um i did a little bit of research on this couldn't find a whole lot there's about two to three videos on youtube that actually show this thing off most people kind of just said to stick with the sega one so i took a chance because i found one of these new in box and i wanted to unbox it and uh see what it feels like all right let's get to it but pretty simple here i'll try to keep this on the camera <laughs> Everything is right there. Right. Okay, so right on here we got the nub. It's nice. Nub. Put that aside. Wow, this is cool. Alright, there's not much to the box. Um pretty much empty other than this. <clears throat> You know, I had heard that these came with an extender, so I only have one Sega Genesis extension cable. Um, so this is pretty nice because I just get one of these for free because I got this new. Which is probably something you wouldn't get if you bought it used. So, we have a single page here. This is literally just Arcade Command. I don't know if you can see that with the screen. Uh, general instructions, literally screw on the thing, procedure, firing speed, uh, mode select, different games have different functions, all right, do, 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 do. All right tape, <clears throat> very simple, oh this thing is great, Wow, that's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty stoked about this. Um, oh yeah! I don't know if you, yeah. Man, that, that click really gets me. I don't even know how to describe it to you. <clears throat> it's doing things to me. One thing I'm noticing already is, um, I don't know if it can change these, but the ball on the top doesn't actually spin well it does spin so you screw it in okay though so the whole thing spins all right cool <clears throat> now you can set all your speeds here everything feels nice these buttons feel great and this is an all metal bottom i wasn't i wasn't ex i wasn't expecting that i guess oh it's exactly what I hoped it would be. Um, there's literally a groove right here so that you can put your hand right on it. And everything has micro switches. So the real reason, everybody says go with the Sega Genesis one, but <sighs> I had heard that this had micro switches. And I'll tell you what, even the buttons, eh, they may not be micro switches, but man, they feel good. <laughs> okay, enough clicking. So let's get to it. Okay, here we are at the Mega SD. Um, as you can see, everything works, um, which is great because I don't want to have to switch controllers as I'm running around these games. Um, I can go through everything. Buttons appear to be super responsive. I'm already super happy with this. I barely touched that, and here we go. So I want to see how a few games work. We'll start with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Hyperstone Heist. <clears throat> Replayability in these games is really big for me, and uh, having 
a true arcade like experience is pretty huge um, for these retro consoles. It's about as close as I can get to playing this in the arcade. Turn that down a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna be Donnie. Thanks, April. This already feels fantastic. Like I can... Oh my god, yeah. This is... I mean, I'm not gonna lie with you. Having an arcade stick of this quality for the Sega Genesis, I'm actually kind of blown away. Everything is super responsive. Let's try to run at this guy. Fantastic. This is... Let's test out some turbo buttons here. While we're here, let's flip this up to turbo. Hold on. One. Is that turbo? No, that's the blue ones. Okay, see, there you go. So the blue ones obviously go for the blue buttons. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. And then no turbo. Look at that. And it goes off automatically. So let's try that with a little bit of turbo. Let's say you're a person who, you know, hey, I really like these fighting games, but I hate having to mash the, the punch button every time. It's nice because there's actually settings for this. So you can adjust just how fast it's going to actually press those buttons. Not going to lie, that's actually pretty nice. Get some pizza. Here's the deal. You got a Mega SD. You got to get one of these sticks because... I've seen a lot of the the officially licensed controllers and arcade sticks. Most of them, the analog sticks feel like rubber. And I don't know, maybe the best thing you can do is buy some sort of converter, which I've looked online, you know. They always ship, they take forever to get there. Unless you buy it from a nice store, but this feels fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, I've never really played around with a lot of turbo, but a beat em up like this, just having that option is nice. The top three buttons don't do anything, but they also didn't affect the game at all. Let's try. Yep, that worked. There's the kick. Everything is super responsive. This feels fantastic. I wonder if I can put other sticks on here, or if this is some sort of proprietary one. I actually kind of wonder what's underneath here. I don't want to take it apart. All right, let's do it, Ryu. This is cool. I'm actually really excited to see what this can do. What do we got? Kicks on the bottom? Yes, kicks on the bottom. Very easy. I was taking me to school. I mean, hey, I'm trying to do as many special moves as I can do in a row. And everything seems to be working great. And I haven't played a lot of um, fighters with arcade sticks, so, you know, bear with me.
Well, Guile was taken out really easy. Feels fantastic. This actually makes me want to play more Street Fighter, which was exactly why I bought this fighting stick. Now, I don't know if they make one of these for Super Nintendo. They may make a Docs arcade stick for Super Nintendo. If they did, I would pick that up over any fight stick. Oof, Kenware got right in there. Wow, Ken just whipping my ass. <laughs> nice, I got one off. Very nice. So I want to see if this thing works for Sega CD. It says it works for all systems. So let's fire up some. Pro Combat. Oh, that's a block button. So I didn't realize that this doesn't quite use all the controllers. <clears throat> B is block. <clears throat> That should be low punch. That's block as well. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> That's the best you got. <clears throat> okay, this is kind of a interesting game. So I think this is how Mortal Kombat controls actually are, though. I think they put the block button in the middle, and they kind of had the other buttons around them. So, high punch, low punch, high punch, low punch, high kick, low kick, and these are both block. Fairly simple. The um, this arcade stick is super sensitive in a good way. Uh, I don't know any moves. There, you just get uh, get over here. Very cool.
Yeah, let's try Burning Force. Wow. I mean, this literally makes you feel like you're at the arcade. Ooh. In a good way. Like, I, I can't say that I've ever experienced some of these games in this way. The arcade stick feels so natural for these games. It almost feels like you're doing them a disservice. You don't. Does work! So, that's pretty neat. I'm playing Fantasy Zone, a Sega Master System, using an arcade stick. I mean, yeah, you can probably get away with this with some emulation. I feel this play this game plays great. I can't I'm not gonna lie. With shooters, the arcade stick feels so much better. Well, so what do I think? Being that I got this thing brand new, everything works perfectly. I don't know what your situation is, but if you can find one new in box pretty cheap especially compared to other sticks out there i mean you're going to get an official sega one that's going to be smaller probably the same weight but it's not going to have the micro switches and i think even these have some sort of switch in them i think new in box you also get a genesis extension cable which is nice i gotta say i am super happy with this and if you're a genesis collector out there and you want to play games that and make it feel like the arcade this is probably one of the closest things that you're going to get that you could just buy. Um, so highly suggested. So thanks for checking out my video. Um, leave a like, comment, of course. Ask me any questions that you want. Um, if you want to talk about games, talk about your favorite games. Let me know what I should try out if you want to check it out. All right, thanks. Oh, yeah, also subscribe.